Hey everybody, it's Eric, Mr. Low Carb, coming from my keto kitchen with a surprise live. So I realized I don't have any more cheesecake. Anybody knows I, uh, I love my cheesecake. What's going on everybody? So I was making a cheesecake in my keto kitchen and I was thinking about, well, why don't I just go live? I'm just going live all the time. So uh, everybody, uh, this is my kitchen. This is where the magic happens. You can see my Pampered Chef quick cooker over there. Um, and I've already made the crust and I'm about to make the filling for my cheesecakes. And today, I'm gonna make something I haven't made. I'm always trying to make different cheesecakes even though I have my favorites. Today is gonna be a lemon cheesecake with a coconut crust. Um, it's kinda like a coconut crumble crust. So the crust has already been made, it's put in the refrigerator, and I'm about to make the filling. And one thing is, and you guys know I, I run the Keto Simple Recipe Group, so if you're on my weight loss page and you're not in the Keto Simple Recipe Group, make sure to do that. Um, it, in the uh, post, I went and put a link to my link tree. My link tree goes to, uh, shows you my Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, you can see my meals. I post daily. Uh, it's at Mr. Low Carb on Instagram. If you want to see my past videos, you can go to YouTube. It's hashtag Mr. Low Carb. Uh, Keto Simple is a recipe group. I also have a $5 off Bones coupon uh, for you if you haven't done, done Bones coffee yet. And 10% off your um, Smart Baking uh, company, um, if you haven't done the smart buns, I actually just today was um, given a a brand ambassador label where you can use Mr. Low Carb when you're shopping at uh, the smart baking company, get 10% off your order. So that's all in the link tree. Make sure to join Keto Simple. Everybody loves my cheesecake, right? What's Eric's story? I've lost 173 pounds. I was 435 pounds, and now I am 262 pounds, 12 pounds away from my original goal was 250 pounds. That's when I weighed 435, it seems so far. What I did is I broke that down into 25 pound increments so I wouldn't be unmotivated. I, and that way I was kind of coming along, chunking away at the bigger total. And one of the treats I found along the way is keto cheesecake. I love it. It's like I feel like I've started a keto cheesecake revolution online. I see everybody's awesome cheesecakes you're making and the, the neatest thing, so if you don't know the keto lifestyle, low carb lifestyle, your, your low carb means you're, you're keeping your, your carbohydrates about 5% of your diet and they want your fats higher. A, a true keto diet is 75% of your food intake being from fat. I don't really do that. I'm more about a 50% and then a 45% protein and a 5% carbs. That's what I do. But keto cheesecake is true keto because you're looking at like 25, 30 uh, grams of fat and then only three grams of net carbs per slice. And I feed this, Fourth of July, I had a, a couple families over, all the kids ate it, didn't even know it was low carb. This is the real deal. So always, so starting off, two blocks of cream cheese, right? I learned not all cream cheese is the same. I like Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese, the original cream cheese, the one that we grew up on. It's actually made with better stuff. It has less carbs than the uh, generic brands at, at the grocery store. And so to get your lowest carbs, you wanna go with that. And I've actually let this kind of um, soften, put it in the microwave a little bit too. So uh, the, the, what you're using in your ingredients makes a difference, especially when it comes to different cheeses, cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese, two blocks. Next is heavy whipping cream. We all have it. Uh, I never even bought this before I went keto low carb. Now I seem to put in a lot of stuff. Lando Lakes is the brand I'm using here uh, because it's the, one of the lowest carb options. When you look at your carb counts on the back, you wanna see this is actually less than one carb per tablespoon and they're all about 50 um, calories per tablespoon. This one um, is gonna be a lot less lower carbs. It, so for every two or three tablespoons, I get a carb. So that keeps my carbs down. So getting a quality product, again, this costs just a little bit more, it's not generic. So make sure to check your labels. Not all heavy whipping creams the same. Any heavy whipping cream that says zero is not completely accurate. This comes from a cow. Cows make milk, make this. They all have some carbs in it. But this seems to be the one I like to use the most. So what do I do? I put a half cup of this inside my mixing tray here. And a half cup, anybody know how many tablespoons are in a half cup? It's eight, eight, because there is 16 tablespoons in a cup. Because heavy whipping cream is thick, you wanna give a little bit of love there. So I'm gonna mix this up. 
Yeah, I have a lot of fancy Pampered Chef stuff. This is not. This is my uh, $18 hand mixer that I use. So as I mix this up, we'll talk about my health. Uh, last summer, I was diagnosed diabetic, um, and I actually got had an infection in my leg, really triggered. I was already losing weight at that time, but my A1C was 11.1, 11.1, which the chart only goes to 14. Anything over six, six and a half is bad. And just a matter of a few months and changing my lifestyle, I was able to get down to 5.5. So I take my blood sugar um, daily and it's always around 100. Uh, back last summer, it was like 251. And um, so these type of small things that I'm doing to change my life is uh, really making a difference. So let's get the cheesecake going. Now, I, what did I say the flavor is? It's gonna be a lemon. I haven't done a straight lemon. I use extracts quite a bit. My normal recipe comes with a strawberry extract and then some lemon extract. Uh, I'm gonna put some real citrus in. So what I have here is I have uh, in, in this container is about two tablespoons of real lemon juice. And this is really gonna add a lot of flavor. Sometimes when I bake with real uh, citrus, the, the top of the cheesecake isn't as pretty. I haven't figured out really what I've done differently to make it that way, but um, we're gonna see today because I just put a lot of citrus in. All right, I'm gonna put the extract in in a minute, but hey, anybody have Swerve at home? Swerve, it's not stevia, it's not monk fruit. Swerve comes in a brown sugar version, a granulated sugar version, and, and I fought it and I finally got the confectioner. Confectioner is like a powdered, Sugar alternative, it's zero net carbs. Um, it's just like seven and a half bucks a bag. And I'm gonna put a half cup in there. Get that booger out, woo! So that's, that's the sweetened. And when, regular cheesecake is so high in calories and carbs because of real sugar. This is the trick. So you wanna go on Amazon or you wanna go on walmart.com and get your swerve. People always ask me about my cheesecakes. Can I put a different, uh, a different type of sweetener in. I think probably a monk fruit or a straight erythritol, because that's what's in here is erythritol, would work, but like a stevia, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. So let me mix this up. So last October, I got out of the hospital on my birthday, my 47th birthday, and um, I had really never stayed in the hospital in a long time, and the reality check of being in the hospital and having your children, I have an 18-year-old, a 14-year-old, a 10-year-old, seeing them come see their dad sick in bed. When I got out, I was 383 pounds. And that was just last October, October 3rd. So October 3rd is my birthday, everybody give me a card, okay? Just kidding. Woo. So I'm 262 now, so from October 3rd till now, I've lost a lot of weight, you know, that's 115, 120 pounds. So I wanna say something real quick that, you know, so, I never thought I was gonna be able to shed the weight. So many people that reach out to me think they can't shed the weight. I'm proof that I've proved to myself. So one thing I say is, like you, I thought I couldn't. Now I'm proof that I can. Please use my journey. Please use this opportunity of everything that I'm posting online, all the information I'm learning, I'm passing on. Use this to fuel your own journey. I mean, you get keto cheesecake. So let me keep mixing here. Oh, it's looking good. So I've only put in, so far, I've put in the two blocks of cream cheese, half cup of heavy whipping cream, I threw in the two tablespoons of lemon juice, put in a half cup of swerve, the last thing, oh, like two more things to put in. I'm gonna put a little extract in. I might not need it with all that citrus I put in, but hey, why not? And um, here we go. This is a uh, Wil Wilton brand. I, I, I got the McCormick normally, but this is what I've been using. And um, so I'm gonna finish that bottle. See it? You see that? Oh, it's so good. So good. So the last thing you put in are the eggs. I always mix the eggs in at the end. You don't want to overbeat them. I don't know why. I heard it online one time, so I always put them at the end. Two eggs. Here we go. There's one. There's two. I'm going to have to beat this for a second. So uh, while I'm doing this, like this post and put in the comments where you're from. I always come back through and look at the comments. If you have questions, Put your questions down, but most importantly, put where you're from. I love to see it. Got a lot of people in here tonight. Keto cheesecake pulls a crowd, doesn't it? So let me get this going.
Cheesecake, I'm making a keto cheesecake. Oh, smell that lemon, it smells so good. I'm excited, I like lemon stuff. You like lemon? Lemon, mmm. Okay, just about there. Hey, let me run to the fridge and get the crust. All right, here's the crust, I made it earlier. So, what's this? This is parchment paper. I like to put it in. This is a springform pan. Springform means that it actually opens up. So when I'm done, I, I can just open it up and it's just like a plate of cheesecake, it's fantastic. Now let me show you the inside. You see that? That uh, is a quarter cup of almond flour, quarter cup of coconut flour, and um, what I did is I've actually put some unsweet coconut flakes in. First time I've ever done it, gonna give it a shot. Three tablespoons of uh, melted butter, and oh yeah, I put brown swerve in, about uh, I think a quarter cup of that as well. And then I pack it in, and I put it in the fridge, and I, you see, people ask how I get it up on the sides. You know, I just use um, like a cup, and I just push it down, and I, I put a little extra, actually I think I put a little bit of flaxseed in here, because the flaxseed is like almond flour, it has, it's very, very low in carbs, but it kind of extends my crust a little bit, so it gives me a little more so I can get it up the sides. I can't wait to show you a picture of this. So let's pour this bad boy in. So let me just make sure it's all mixed. It's looking really good. I got everything in. Just wanna make sure I'm not blowing it here. All right, here we go. There's the crust. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw this in my Pampered Chef quick cooker. And when you cook in an Instapot, when you're cooking something like this, I it sits up on a platform and you gotta put water in. I think some people forget about the water part of it. So I'm, you gotta put water, about a cup, cup and a half of water in the bottom of your Instapot. And that moisture, that humidity is what actually cooks it. it. Takes about 40 minutes to cook it. I use a dessert setting on my Pampered Chef Quick Cooker. And then uh, when it comes out, it looks beautiful. I gotta put it in the fridge. That's one thing about this. If you wanna enjoy this, you can't make it really, you have to make it in the morning, you have it for dinner, or I'm making this. Cause right now I am out of keto cheesecake, everybody. Ah, crisis mode. So this is it. Oh, I, I don't wanna tip it up because it just looks so pretty. Oh, last thing. People have asked about this. This is a silicone top that I put on, um, and I'm gonna slide it on here to show you. It's Pampered Chef, by the way. So if you have friends that are, are selling Pampered Chef, this is like 12 bucks, this is nice to have. This particular pan is, is from Instapot, but I have a Pampered Chef one as well. The Instapot is a seven and a half inch, uh, the Insta, and the Pampered Chef is a seven and a quarter. So I'm gonna put this over. It's got little air holes on it. Oh, it's just, it's, it's so nice. I actually store the cheesecake in the pan. I store it in the pan. So this is it. Here she is. So I'm gonna be making this. And uh, so anyways, I, I wanted to share it. I, I know I've been doing some lives lately. I appreciate everything that I hear from everybody. I, I love that I get tagged in keto lasagnas and keto tacos and cheesecake posts. And I made this Eric or that. Remember, just the end of last year is when I started this, this low carb journey. I, I started um, uh, before losing some weight without it, you know, like not eating fast food, eating at home, doing some things like that but really the weight loss accelerating when I did the low carb. So I'm new to this too. You're not gonna be a genius when you start your low carb keto journey. So don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes. Just continue to learn and continue to be 100% of the lifestyle. You know, you guys have heard me say it. I am seven days a week low carb. I don't cheat. That's why I lose 13 to 15 pounds a month. And it's proof that it adds up. When I do these videos and I can see my, my handsome face and know that just a year ago it was so much bigger, um, you should see when I go to the store and see my friends, everybody freaks out and everybody wants to know what I'm doing. So I love keto. I talk about it. I post about it. But you know, you guys, you guys out there that send me messages and comment on my posts, it means a lot. It really does. And um, I'm not making any money doing this type of stuff. I'm just trying to motivate you with my story and then also motivating myself by, by helping you. So keto on, my friends. Have a powerful day. Weight loss is the result of many small good decisions. Like you, I once thought I couldn't. Now I'm proof that I can. Ooh, time to put it in the old Pampered Chef quick cooker, guys. Take care, watch my posts, follow my pages, go to Instagram, at Mr. Low Carb. I'm putting my food online every day, see what the big guy's eating. Love you guys, take care. Keto Cheesecake.